Hey everyone, so I wanted to do the El Picasso tag. So I kind of did a combination of plush tees and kawaii bella loves. They both did a made an El Picasso tag. So I kind of combined them, I wrote them down on here. So I just kind of skipped over questions that were like the other ones. So let's start. Okay, number one. What are your favorite stores or dealers to buy from? Well, I mostly have bought from Rosie's Garden. I would say that's the most consistent store I've bought from. Um, however, my most recent purchases have all been from Dirpola on Tumblr. And I do really like buying from Alpaca Loco also on Tumblr. Uh, number two. What series do you have the most of? Um, this is a really easy because I have the entire uh, Goodnight series set because they are just so cute and they are just like a little rainbow of cute and I love everything that has to do with like sleeping and pajamas and being comfortable and I bought the purple one and then I saw every other color and I just had to buy them because they were so cute. Uh, number three, do you collect any other Muse products? Um, I have a Loppy. I have, I'm hoping to get the Fennec Fox because I think it's really cute. I have one of the lesser pandas, but I have no multiples. But I did think I would point out, uh, I think it's called like the Macaron Bear. I think it is just such a cute color and it is just so fat and funny looking to me. So I think I would say the Fennec Fox would be my favorite, um, but since I don't own it, I'm gonna say this because it's just really funny and it's like just, it's just so cute and fat. I don't know. I also thought I would point out this really adorable like lamb sheep thing I got from Dirtbola. It was a pickup from a convention and it's 16 centimeters. <sighs> Number four favorite tags I kind of narrowed it down I really like the Eden tag because it's an apple I think that's really creative and I love the little rainbow I think that's really cute the other one I like is the Christmas one I can't remember I think it's 2012 but I genuinely don't remember and it's just really funny to me like everything about it the fact that it's in the shape of a Christmas tree and like the Sorry, it's not focusing very well, but, like, they just photoshopped a Santa hat on one. Just everything about that is kind of funny to me. So I think it's super cute. Um, number five, what inspired you to start collecting? I was just at a store, like a bookstore, and they had a bunch of alpaca and, like, llama plushes. I thought that was so cute and funny. They were just regular ones, definitely not alpaca, so just general ones. And then... I went home and went on Tumblr um, and Instagram and on each social media site El Picasso popped up and I was like this is a sign that I need to start collecting alpacas. So then once I found that that was specifically a brand I was just pretty much hooked immediately. Um, number six, what one has the most symmetrical face? Um, most of mine are pretty good but I picked out uh, this is my Waku Waku party. I just think um, it's really symmetrical. It's just a nice face. So that's cool. Um, and then now the most asymmetrical or derpy. This was really easy because I got this as a freebie from um, Alpaca Loco when I bought my own share lace. And I specifically asked for it because it was just so hilarious to me. She called it that like anti prince or something because. It's just ridiculous how off that is. It's just 100% smirking, and I think that's really hilarious. And its crown just isn't, just doesn't exist. It's just so malicious and funny to me. So that is definitely derpy. Um, number eight, what is your floppiest, and what is your most stuffed? Uh, my floppiest is going to be my big pastel series. It's the one I cuddle with the most because, like, just look at it. I don't know. It's hard to tell but it is just so like even from this angle it's just so pancaked and like there's nothing there and I love it 
And then as for my most stuffed, I think this is going to be my 50 centimeter antique series. Um, I bought it because I wanted to cuddle with it, but it's just so firm and it's like butt and torso that I just never have. It stands up really easily, so it's definitely firm. Uh, number nine, what is your favorite mouth shape? Now this never even occurred to me until I watched Plush T's tag video. I knew that there was the hand stitched, but I didn't even know that they were kind of making some of them more V-shaped or like versus the round, really round cat shape. And I honestly never even thought about it. But I guess if I had to choose, I do like the hand stitched. I don't know, just there's something about it that kind of makes it like unique and gives it some character. So I guess that, but I never really thought about it. Um, number 10, what is your favorite size? Uh, lately, like the last few I've bought have only been 50 centimeter. However, they take up so much space. I definitely have the most, um, 16 centimeters. I have a lot. That's the bulk of my collection. So I guess that you could call that my favorite, maybe. Number 11, if you were to carry one, what one would you grab right away? Well, I always kind of cycle through my 8 centimeters and strap them to my purse, but it's never a particular one. But if it's just around the house and I just want to hold something, like a pillow or something, then it is definitely the, the really floppy pastel one because it's just so cute. I don't know. Number 12. The most cruel question ever, if you could only keep one for your, from your collection, what one would you keep? So it makes me sad to answer, but as I'm sure you sensed a theme that I would probably have to say this because f for like a couple months it was really like my dream alpaca. So when I got it I was really excited, so I probably would like cry if I parted with this. Number 13, your rarest. Um, I would definitely think it's that pastel series because I don't even know anything about it. I got it from, um, I also have it in 12 centimeter. Um, those are just clip on earrings. That's not part of the series, but it's just closed eyes. It kind of looks like the macaron closed eye, but it is a lighter pink. Um, it's not obvious at first, but if you put them side by side, you can kind of tell. It is a lighter pink, um, so I think that would be the rarest because I honestly don't even know anything about it. So if you know anything about it, let me know. I got them from Derpola, so I could probably ask her, but I don't know. Um, and then other than that, I do have a small Eden. I have the Osher Lace Llama, which I don't know if that's considered rare, but I think this is kind of up up to you what you think is rare. Um, I have the white, which I didn't bring here, but I have the white um, Vacation Series Sailor, and I have the Japan flag from the Olympic series, so I think that'd be the rarest. Uh, number 14, what inspired you to start collecting? Um, never mind, I already answered that, you know, but um, number 15, what is the most expensive? That is also going to be this one, as you could guess from it being most rare. It was, um, I paid around like $80 for it, which is kind of a lot for a plush, but it's really cute. Um, number 16, how many alpacas do you own? I just counted and I have grand total of 35. So that's kind of a lot, but <laughs> I don't want to stop, which is kind of bad, but whatever. Um, number 17, do you own a bootleg? As far as I know, I don't. Um, the only reason I'd question that is um, I got a few at conventions, but as far as I know for like knowing if they're authentic or not, I'm pretty sure they are because I checked the tags and everything. So as far as I know, no. Um... But if I happen to have one, I would still love it, all that, you know. Uh, number 18 is favorite series. So even though I have the most Goodnight series, I don't know if it's my favorite. I think that's a really hard question to answer, actually, because I love that one 
a lot, obviously, since I have all of it. But, um, I also really do like the large Edens, just because they're laying down, and I think that's really unique. Um, number 19, name one to five names of your El Picasso. I actually only named one, and that is my first 16 centimeter I got, and I didn't, I got this at least one or two years ago. But I still didn't name it until a couple months ago. I wrote a children's story, and this was the main character, so I named her Tenchi. And she's really cute. So that's the only one I have named. All the other ones, I just freak out about how cute they are, and then, I don't know. I just don't go from there. Um, number 20, what was your first, and where did you buy it from? This was the first one I ever got. I think it's called the... Oh gosh, now I'm blanking. It's like Pala Powan 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 Pala something. Yeah, um, and I got it from Pixie on Store Envy, and I got that in like 20, 2013, I think is when I got them, um, and yeah, it was a Christmas present, it was my first one ever, 12 centimeter, you can tell he's kind of, his fur is pretty scraggly, and his face is starting to get a little, a little balled up here, but he's cute. Number 22, have you ever damaged one? Um, well, this antique series had a hole in its back, and I thought I repaired it, but I just checked again, and apparently I didn't, so you can just kind of, like, it's, like, in the stitching, not just in the fabric, so you can just kind of, like, you know, stick your whole finger there into its back. <laughs> I'll probably fix that eventually, I don't know. I didn't even notice it, because it's very small. But it is there, so I should probably do something about that. Um, but that wasn't me, it just came like that. And then I did try and attempt to cuddle with the Flower Crown series. I got the uh, 33, 35, whatever it is, centimeter for the Flower Crown series. And um pretty sure it like popped off one side but I sewed it back down so I guess that's the worst which is only like a piece of thread so it's not too bad number 23 name three on your wish list well right now I really want the green macaron with the closed eyes I think you know it'll look just like this one and, they, and they're both pastel and I think that's so cute um then any black one either the monotone or the uh, UK um, and then lastly, I do really want a large Eden. The only Eden I have right now is a 12 centimeter, and I think getting the huge one would be really cute. Um, number 24, have you ever regret buying one? Um, no. For a little while, I was really nervous. Um, this was the second Al Picasso I ever bought. I did research a lot on where to buy them, um, however... When I made, like, I kind of made a master list and linked things for when I was still figuring out where to buy them. Um, and I accidentally put a questionable shop on my list because I thought it was on the, like, <laughs> the list that I got from had, like, good sites and then, like, questionable sites. And I accidentally pulled one from the questionable sites. And then, of course, I must have just been, like clicking on the first link that I had linked and it was actually the questionable one and I didn't realize that until after I bought it. Um, however, I heard that that site was hit or miss and that sometimes they were authentic and I did, I've looked at the tag and everything else about it and I'm pretty sure it's authentic. And if it's not, just, just don't even, don't even bother. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's real. So I guess that's the closest I've been to regretting it, but that's not necessarily regretting it. That's just I made a mistake. And then, last but not least, what is your biggest El Picasso and what is your smallest? Um, as for smallest, I do have a lot of 8 centimeter, but there's not one in particular that stands out to me. But then largest is definitely going to be the pastel because compared to all my other 50 centimeters, this must be 55 because it's older. Because when I look at the newer, the antique, it's like considerably taller so this is definitely gonna be my biggest I try to like hold it and it's just like 
crushing me. So that's definitely my biggest. Thank you for watching this tag. It was, again, a combination of Plush Tea and Kawaii Bella Love on Tumblr. Um, yeah, and thank you for watching. Maybe I'll make some more alpaca-related things soon. Bye!